H2B is really known for using a B-series half shafts. Now my idea is use the H22 half shafts. This is the H22. And by using the H22, there is no need to modify or if there is anything that needs to be grind or shaved, it's only minimal. It's one of those things that uh, I get one right, two will be wrong, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> okay, back to <laughs> normal programming. Welcome back everyone, SagitNet2, another semi-plate G2B, H2B build. <laughs> I am pretty much excited to this day that we are going to find out if my uh, idea will work or not. Right after I got done with that rear T bracket, man, it's like, man, I gotta get this thing going. I gotta find out. I got all the shafts laid out here. This is it, man. I'm going to compare the driver's side that's fully compressed and this is the 96 without the boot hopefully it won't separate on me all the way down right there see at the end of the spline right here yeah there's really quite a difference. I got the car set up already just to save some time. And on this side, we are just going to, uh, to press on the axle and check how much clearance I still have on that inner joint. And right there is the driver's side. That's a 1993 Integra axle without the inner joint i got the car level as you can see that the axle is all horizontal and all i needed on the passenger side is to push on the axle right there <laughs> it looks like we are good <laughs> it's not completely flush I say maybe I feel maybe like around uh, 1 16th yeah or 1 8 but that's good it's even better remember I used to have one that's already a quarter inch flush so it's good meaning when I lower the car it will pull out more and it will put the uh, the tripod bearings right at the center of the inner joint so which is good yeah i like that one man for uh in the beginning i thought this will give me the most problem apparently not so we know we are good now on this side that's how much gap I say about half an inch, less than half inch. Yeah, I say about seven sixteenth gap, and that's horizontal. About seven sixteenth gap. All right, I'm gonna jack this up, remove that axle, and I'm going to replace it with the insane shafts.
Okay, moment of truth. Let me jack this up a little bit, then we can check. That's all the way out. We get the jack. Here it is. Oh man. What does that mean? Is that too much? So if that's a quarter or less, I'm good. So it's just like what I have before. Let me get my uh, caliper. I'm holding the shaft inside, pressing inwards. Right there, it's uh, 238. So I put it here. Quarter inch. Bingo. Ha <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah quarter inch right there right on <laughs> oh man that pays off man right on um, whoa what an accomplishment uh, I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what to say uh, It's good! <laughs> what else can I say? That is for everyone to see. Uh, what an experiment. I'm not sure if it's been done before, but there you have it, guys. So uh, we do have an option now. As you can see, that's the angle right there. It's a lot better than the uh, full H22 swap. That's the angle. Let me put the let me put the fork. We could see it better that way. Yeah, it's a lot better now. The gap, one finger. Before it's like it's almost touching. Yeah, big time. Yes, and that's how much I have to grind or shave. That is the reason why I tried the H22 half shafts. So I don't have to shave a whole lot on the block and it pays off. Perfect, man. Awesome, awesome. Is this thing right there? Yeah very very loose it's flopping around I think that's the one that causing the uh, the vibration if I can get an OE or use a uh, Hono Accord uh, half shafts so it's just a plug and play on an 89 Integra axle perfect awesome man awesome all right uh, before I end this video, uh, I'm going to uh, create a teaser for you guys. Uh, no, I mean, it's for me also. Because, uh, as you know, I don't have any more. Uh, uh, we'll see, okay? So give me a few minutes. All right. If that's not enough to motivate you, 
I don't know. I don't know what else build I must do. I said hot day. That's it guys. That's it. The semi plate H2B, G2B, 60% <laughs> complete. I think I already uh, got all the uh, hurdles accomplished. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is, well, except for the intake manifold, before I remove this motor out again, I really have to uh, pay attention on the space that I have. Uh, I've been eyeing this with the throttle body but we'll see how it goes like I said I'm going to uh, keep an eye on it uh, I don't want to remove the intake manifold yet huh. and I'm not making another one <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> it's just it, it's it's too much work uh, a lot of work uh, it's not about the, the expenses it really took a lot of my time yeah Get your project going, guys. This is where it ends. Thank you all for watching. And I see you all back. What a day. <laughs>